For wherever there is jealousy or selfish ambition, there will be disorder and every other kind of evil. As you be crack cord, the dies on chat. Life not judging will take place in corral number 12. Oh, you be crack cord, the dies on chat. comes from heaven is first of all pure and full of mercy and good deeds. It is wholehearted and sincere. I guess winter in Eastfield is a lot like other towns. It's cold, a lot of snow, schools are closed. Well, two out of three isn't bad. That's great, man. That's so excellent. Hey, Martin. You playing with crayons again? Why? Are you missing yours, Derek? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, takes one to know one. Huh? Class, class, settle down, please. I want you all to welcome Todd Burton, who's just moved here to Eastfield. We'll take a little time to get to know Todd before lunch today, but first, I want you all to clear your desks for that history test I promised. Aww. You can sit over there, Todd. Um, you don't have to take this quiz. Just find something to do at your desk quietly for the next half hour. No problem. Thanks. Up till now, this has been a one sketch pad school. I think that's about to change. You should have studied last night. So you should have no trouble with the test. What am I worried about? I mean, it could be cool to have another artist in school. I mean, of course, if I could see what he's drawing. What's he doing? That's what I want to know. Well, what do you think? Hmm, an interesting statement, perhaps, but a little too post-neo-modern for my taste. What does that mean? <laughs> I was hoping you could tell me. drawing back in class. Oh, um, yeah. Well, what were you drawing? Cool. Does he open up with, like, lasers and blasters and stuff inside? Oh, sure. He's fully three-dimensional. Call him Jawbreaker. Interesting. Nick can draw, too. Show him, Nick. Oh, sh sure. See? That's McGee. Cute. Hey, can I see your picture of Jawbreaker again? Here, look all you want. Wait, wait, you can have one of McGee. Um, uh, listen, where's the principal's office? Come on, I'll show you. Hey, you got any other drawings? Cool. Is he as strong as he looks? Okay, I tried to be nice. 
Now I guess I'll have to show him how simple it is to draw this can of tuna. Yeah, right. Thought you were gonna clear that stuff off into the family room, or do we eat off the counter tonight? You're looking at a geographical puzzle expert, my dear. I'll be done in no time. Uh-huh. But uh, you can help if you want. Huh. So we're in one of our Cosby moods, are we? Just consider it a really cheap way to see Europe. Move over, cheap <laughs> Official, everyone. Must be a blizzard. Dad's got a jigsaw puzzle. That's right, and everyone who helps gets to sleep inside tonight. <laughs> well, I'm not into igloos, so. <laughs> what? How come you're exempt? Hey, I'm busy, okay? Uh, check it out. Rembrandt's busy. Uh, David, darling, it may be a small world after all, but you are not going to put Paris, Texas in France. Well, if you want to get picky. Oh, I forgot about dinner. Sarah, would you like to grate some cheese? Nick, you want to grate some cheese? I have work to do, okay? Can't you guys just leave me alone? He wants to be alone. Well, that reminds me. Have you seen Germany? Um, can you? Will you knock it off? You're just jealous because all you can play is the radio. I am not jealous. Sure, that's why you've been trying to draw that bucket of bolts all night. Hey, I was just messing around. If you were drawing that two-ton toaster, it's obviously going to be a mess. Look, I've never drawn that kind of stuff before with all those angles and stuff. I don't care if Todd can draw. I mean, he could draw what he draws. Besides, what's the big deal around here? The guy tries to change what he draws, and everybody makes a federal case out of it. Okay, Nero, knock it off. It's really getting to you, isn't it? Hey, it wouldn't be such a bad idea to trade you in for a robot mop pop. What are you looking at, Chrome Dome? All right, so maybe I overreacted a little. I mean, who knows? Having another cartoonist at school could be a lot of laughs. Hey, what's so funny? I'm just goofing off, really. This kind of drawing really isn't that hard. Especially if you had any training. Hey, guys, uh, who wants to loan me 50 cents? Hey, nice drawing. Pretty good drawing. What can you draw like that, Martin? Hey, it's just a joke, man. Yeah. Really funny. Okay, everyone, it's time to head back for class. Did you all pick out a book for your reports? I've, I've got my book, Mrs. Harmon. Pretty and popular. The Modern Girl's Guide to Good Looks. Well, I'll be interested in reading what you have to write on the subject. <laughs> nice one, Derek. Why don't you stop me? Oh, Nick, did you see this on the bulletin board? It's something you might be particularly interested in. The Eastfield Winter Carnival is holding a poster contest, and the winning entry will be posted all over town and printed in the paper. Gee, thanks, Mrs. Harmon. And I understand you're a wonderful artist too, Todd, so you'll probably want to enter. Thanks, uh, might be fun. Fun? Right now, the only thing that would be fun putting this puffed-up Picasso in his place, once and for all. And we'll see several paintings from the 1500s at the museum on Friday. Now, who can name one of the most famous artists of the Renaissance period? Da Vinci. Michelangelo. Very good. You're both right. Actually, Leonardo da Vinci was considered a genius, not just as an artist, but also as an inventor, a mathematician, and an architect. In fact, he and Michelangelo, who was also brilliant and versatile, had quite a jealous rivalry going for many years.
for myself, the Duke of Ellington, and my vice regent, Sir Line of Beef, I welcome you to the competition for the painting of the pristine chapel. <clears throat> Thank you, royal musician. Michelangelo, Tadinardo. Which of you will present a sample of your work first? Your most royal, grand, exalted, incredibly excellent dukitude. Oh, he's good. He's very good. Here's a little portrait I whipped up this morning over breakfast. I call it The Moaning Lisa. It's stupendous. It's 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 fabulous. It's wonderful. Do you do business cards? I mean, nothing too flashy about the size, but you know, it's sort of a, a royal hey, flair. Hey, what about me? <clears throat> yes. Well, very well, Michelangelo. Proceed. <clears throat> Sir. Oh, that's a poor start. I envision a magnificent painting that will capture the creation of the entire world. Thus, I think you will agree that when you see my sketches, I should paint the pristine chapel. <laughs> Perhaps we'll give you a call when we paint the basement. Tadinardo, when can you begin? Wait, this is my best stuff. I can do better than him. Away with him, away with him. Give me another chance. I can do better. I can do better. I can do better. <laughs> you think you can do better than Leonardo da Vinci? <laughs> Wrong color. Oh, sorry. Oh, look. David, I told you a half an hour ago. Here you go, whatever. I know, I know. Um, I need Madagascar. The, the concert starts at 8. Oh, right. Oh, my gosh. Man. Oh, come on. Just relax for a second. Mom, when's dinner? In a minute, honey. Um, why don't you make yourself a snack and come help us? I've got... Missouri. <laughs> Jamie, that's Missouri. Okay, I'm ready. Let's get going. Okay, just a minute. What, but you said... Mom, there's no cookies, no peanut butter, no crackers. Buy this piece right there. I could eat some baking soda. Oh, we've really got to go oh, now. Okay, just a minute. Just don't stuff yourself, honey. Oh, 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 here. Oh. I thought you two had to leave. Uh, in, a in a minute. minute. All right. How about a nice bowl of kibbles and bits? Okay, honey, whatever you want, that's fine. Just, uh, would you mind getting your junk off the counter? Well, would you hand me some of those pieces, please? Junk is right. Guess I won't be needing this anymore. Here's your kibbles, just the way you like it. Nick, what's going on with you? Nothing. Nicholas, I'm not leaving the seat till you tell me what's the matter. Well, I don't know. There's this new kid in school, and he draws, and all of a sudden everybody thinks he's so great. You mean all this doing is because of some new kid in school? Yeah, but Grandma... This kid, Todd, he blows in the town, and he acts like a real creep. And he thinks he's so great. Nick, do you think there's a possibility you might be jealous? Oh, sweetie. Did you think there wasn't anybody in the world as good as you? No. Did you think that nobody else could draw as well as you? 
Honey, God gave you the ability to draw to honor him, not to honor you. And who do you think you're going to punish by giving up your drawing? Not Todd. But, Gra... I just don't feel like drawing anymore. Nick, listen to me. Before your grandpa and I went overseas, we lost a wonderful position to another missionary couple. We were so jealous we couldn't see straight. But then when we got to know them, we realized how much we had in common. Maybe you should focus on what you and Todd have in common. Instead of on your jealousy. Get to work. Say, metal mouth, put it there. Hey, what are you so 
bug to pout. Cool off, heater head. So he wants to play games, does he? Hey, sport. How's about a little one-on-one? -on -one? And Magic McGee dribbles around the defense. Hey. He sets up. He looks for the open shot. Gimme, gimme. He passes. Good boy. Okay, bucket brain. Now you're on the stick. <laughs> Whatever, get down! Down. All right, we're almost there. Four more pieces. Three, two, yes. one. One more piece. Uh, uh, where'd yeah. it go? Are you sure you didn't drop one when whatever? Okay, if I can't draw the same way Todd does. Because really, it's not who's the better artist, but it's the fact that I let my jealousy get the best of me. You can't quit. Because that's the easy way out. Todd? I saw your poster in the library. It's really good. Uh, thank you. No, really, I mean it. I tried drawing Jawbreaker. He's tough. Well, I've had a lot of practice. I've still got a lot to learn. You know, your stuff is really good, too. Thanks. Listen, good luck on the contest, OK? Thanks. You too, Nick. Good morning, class. We have some very special news this morning. The posters for the Winter Carnival were judged. And I'm very proud to say that the winner came from this very classroom. And the winner is... Derek Kreider. Yeah! yeah. yeah. If you ask me, this contest was rigged. Where can I find the judge? Now, who's jealous, short stuff?
something.